So we are going to make that 3D text you saw in the preview as well in this tutorial. So yeah, let's just get started right away. Now before uh, you can make 3D text, you want to have a plugin called Element 3D. If you don't have it yet, maybe you can search on YouTube on how to get it. But if you already have it, then we can just start. So first you want to make one uh, solid with control and Y like this, and then uh, make text. So I'm just going to put in text for now. And then this is the font I'm using, by the way, you can use any font you want, but I just kind of like using this one. And then on the bolt, and I made the text about uh, 200. Then we're gonna go over to the solid. Wait, we can put this below the solid and turn it off if you want to. And we're going to add element 3D to this. And you wanna go to custom layers, go to custom text and masks. And here for the first layer, you just wanna select the text we just made. Then close this out. And then you wanna open up the scene setup. Once it's loaded, you wanna click on extrude. And now we have extruded the text. From this point on, this may look all kind of, yeah, confusing. But you want to go to presets right there, then go to bevels, physical, and here you have all kinds of be uh, bevels. So you can choose whatever you want. And as you can see, these are like the uh, bevels and you have a lot of different options. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, once you're happy with the bevel, you want to open up or right, click on this drop down arrow right here so you can see all the materials. And what you want to do is go to materials. Now right now you probably don't have any materials or just basic ones i think you just have these basic ones but i recommend downloading the pro shaders 2 uh, right here pro shaders 2 has like some cool materials you can use especially the one in the translucent folder yeah just search on youtube how to get it or something yeah once you have the pack uh, or any material pack uh, what you can do is choose one of these materials so you can choose the rough glass right here and um, for the second color you can just choose any color you want like green red blue um, and even if you I'm by the way I'm going to go with blue but if you want to change the color you can also click on the material right there scroll down right here color and you can change that to whatever you want as well so um, yeah that's up to you and once we've done this, you want to go to uh, environment, then go to just a basic one and choose any environment you want. And as you can see, this already like reflects and shines way more and looks really good. So you can choose any environment you want. I think I'm just going to go with the first one. And this is basically the text. So this looks fine. It looks uh, pretty cool. And you can now click on OK. And now you want to go to group one. Now, this is going to look really confusing for people that are new to Element 3D. But um, if you just follow what I do, you'll just learn it in no time. So you want to go to group one, then particle look, and then search for multi object. And then enable this. And this is basically all we're going to need here in the multi object. You have like the rotation like this, um, like all kinds of rotations. You have the displays and yeah, all kinds of like, yeah, this, the scatter and all this. So you have these different options. What I always like to do is put the X uh, the, or the Y rotation to about 90, the rotation random to like minus 90 or negative 90. And then you got this. And then I put this to negative one and you have like the letters like all put into each other. And then I'm going to keyframe this. Like so, press U or a keyword so you can see all the keyframes. Just go to the end and uh, you can just right click on here and reset them all like this. And then they are back to normal. But what I like to do is put this one like a bit higher maybe 15 and the random rotation also about 15 like this. So it, it kind of looks a little bit like scattered still instead of just plain text. You want to select your keyframes, press F9, open up the graph editor. And for this, you can use 
uh, the speed graph if you want to and just put them all like this and then just if you play it you can see the text like so so that's one variant of the text and then the sort of like second animation what you can do is put this one to about two and then this one to plus 90 as well and then you got like this which can also look really clean you can also just leave this on negative 90 if you want to looks clean too so that's just up to you um but these are basically the animations and you can also add some more cool effects so you can add an adjustment layer like this and add some shine um uh, this is also i believe a plugin um but yeah you you want to add some shine uh, like this and since I made the text uh, blue I'm also going to change the color of the shine to blue so go to colorize go to three color gradient yeah and then to electric yes this makes it blue you can also change the blue a bit if you want to make it like lighter or something if you want that and this looks super clean and then uh, what I kind of like is I'm going to go to the ray length and the boost light with the ray length to like 7 and the boost light to about 10 like so but then i'm going to go to the end press your keyboard once again and just both like reset both like so once again just graph it like this like so and now you have like the um yeah you have you got this animated you can also make the raise a bit longer if you want can look pretty cool then what i'd like to do is add some turbulent displays this effect right here i'm going to add that i kind of like to put this to about 120 this to zero and then keyframe the amount go to get okay, go one frame forward put this to like 100 then go to the end change this to about zero keyframe it and then uh, this time open up the value graph and change it the keyframe to the graph to like something like this and then you got like this like cool turbulent displace effect yeah uh, this this especially looks cool on impacts uh, for example this clip right here you can see it looks really cool on uh yeah an impact like that and it in general it looks better if you use um if you put the displays to like negative one and then yeah to like this i think that looks a bit cooler with the uh, with the shine and the turbulent displays and all that and yeah that's basically it i hope the that this video helped you out please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it worked for you and helped you out and yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good day, everyone.